if you could change your Super Bowl pick after the first month of the season, <laughs> would you? This is the earliest mulligan I've ever been offered, <laughs> by the way. Okay. <laughs> um, wow. Um, I, I know I could – I'm – I did choose Patriots Seahawks and that obviously makes me nervous and three weeks in the Chiefs and Falcons really do look like the best teams with sustainable talent uh, and 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 home run hitting talent on both sides of the ball so if I do are you saying the choice would be not to at all, or if I was given a choice? If you were given the choice to change okay. right now. but I would you... go Chiefs-Falcons, which I know sounds like a really weak choice because they're both the remaining undefeated teams, but not all remaining undefeated teams look like they can go the distance when they're still the remaining undefeated teams, last year's Vikings being an example. So I'll, I'll go Chiefs and Falcons for you right there. But then you got to take them the rest of the year. I would do that. Okay. I, I don't. I don't think that they're they're for Gazy at all. I think that they've got uh, talent everywhere, uh, veteran quarterbacks um, who know what they're doing and are in complete control of what the offense is and what the coach is asking them to do um, with a running game and pass rush and uh, game breakers outside. Um, you know Hill and Hunt. And Freeman and Gabriel and Julio Jones. I mean, that's and Sanu. That's just to name a few. Coleman for Atlanta. Um, so, all right, well, that's I your would pick. Stick with that. All right, that's it. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.